Northern Europeans, encompassing populations from regions such as Scandinavia, the Baltic states, and parts of the British Isles, have a rich and complex history marked by migrations, cultural shifts, and environmental adaptations. These regions were some of the last in Europe to be settled by modern humans following the retreat of the ice sheets at the end of the last ice age. The earliest inhabitants were hunter-gatherers who later encountered and intermingled with Neolithic farmers spreading from the south and the Yamnaya steppe herders from the east. This blending of populations laid the genetic and cultural foundation for the modern Northern European peoples. Recently, I have decided to use my trait predictor tool to do research on the genetic predispositions, phenotypes, and traits of Northern Europeans. Firstly, for this research, I had to define what I consider to be Northern European. I limited my definition of Northern European to Insular Celtic, North Germanic, or Balto Finnic. I did not include Continental Europeans in my study. I used G25 to determine the ethnicity of my subjects. My subjects fell into three separate clusters the Insular Celtic Cluster, the North Germanic Cluster, and the Balto Finnic Cluster. Then there were three people who were also closest to Northern Europeans who did not exactly fall into one of those three clusters. Two of them were roughly in between the Germanics and the Finns, and one of them was roughly in between the Germanics and the Celts. 25 people were used for this study in total. Let's begin to discuss the phenotypes of the bunch. The most common phenotype in the group, as determined by my trait predictor's phenotype oracle, which takes into account pigmentation and genetic variants relevant to facial morphology was Norded, although some other phenotypes were present. Here are the average phenotypes of the three groups, or rather the morphs of the phenotypes most commonly predicted for members of those groups by my trait predictor. Now let's move on to pigmentation. The most common hair color among Northern Europeans is dark blonde, followed by light brown, then red and dark brown. Nobody in my group scored black as their predicted hair color. It needs to be mentioned that among the Finns, nobody scored a hair color darker than light brown. One person scored light blonde hair. That person was a presumably Swedish ancestry. Moving on to eye color, the most common eye color among the Northern Europeans is blue. But surprisingly, hazel is also quite common. It needs to be mentioned that none of the people with hazel eye color prediction were Finnish. Moving on to skin color, the most common skin color among the Northern Europeans is white, but there is a significant minority of olive-skinned Northern Europeans as well, none of which also were Finnish. The most common hair texture among the Northern Europeans is wavy, followed by straight hair, then curly. Nobody in my study set of 25 people scored kinky hair as their predicted hair texture. The most common nose shape among Northern Europeans is decisively Greek, which means a rather long, narrow, and convex nose. Moving on to traits, my study found the Northern Europeans to have roughly equal predisposition to warrior or warrior phenotype based on COMT, MAOA, and MAB genotypes. However, we have to account for the fact that worldwide, the warrior phenotype is almost completely absent. So compared to the rest of the world, the Northern Europeans are very much predisposed to lower activity of COMT, MAOA, and MAOB enzymes and higher levels of dopamine. The Northern Europeans show strong predisposition to a lowered availability of D2 receptors, which also sets them apart from the rest of the world in terms of genetic predisposition. This would in theory predispose the Europeans to ADHD, no-go learning, and protect them from bipolar type 1 and schizophrenia. However, my data on these subjects shows they have roughly average predispositions to these conditions, likely due to the effects of other genes. Predicted 5-HT levels among Northern Europeans were significantly higher than world average, protecting Northern Europeans from depression. Ironically, Northern Europeans are always stereotyped as depressed, but the frequency of long-form 5-HT TLPR which offers protection from depression and is the most impactful variant in the 5-HT panel and trait predictor is highest in Northern Europe. The Northern Europeans also show significant predisposition to autism which is typical for Eurasians. The overwhelming majority of Northern Europeans are lactose persistent. Ankylosing spondylitis and other autoimmune conditions are known to affect Northern Europeans at a higher rate, and indeed this trend can be observed with my data. Around a half of the samples had elevated odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes, and around a half had elevated risk for ankylosing spondylitis. 
This predisposition can be observed with other autoimmune conditions as well. My data shows the Northern Europeans predisposed to type 1 diabetes and multiple sclerosis, but not to metabolic type 2 diabetes. My data also shows the Northern Europeans to have slight predisposition to taller height, as 17 of the 25 people studied in total were predicted to be of above average height. Four of the 25 individuals were predicted to have an elevated level of iron in blood and likely had hemochromatosis. By the way, I find it ironic that among the people with the highest scores for level of iron in the blood, the person who scored the highest was of Celtic ancestry, as hemochromatosis is often considered a Celtic condition. Every single individual out of 25 sampled was predicted to have an intermediate level of plasma homocysteine. Around a half of Northern Europeans were predisposed to epithelial cancers based on 8Q24 genotypes, but the majority carried a risk haplotype for testicular cancer in the kit ligand gene. The Northern Europeans sampled showed a slight predisposition to a lower odds of obesity, and the most frequent blood type among them was type O. In summary, the Northern Europeans are typically blue or hazel-eyed, white-skinned, with wavy dark blonde hair, with strong predisposition to various autoimmune conditions such as type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, ankylosing spondylitis, or rheumatoid arthritis. In the description of this video, you will find links to a spreadsheet containing data relevant to this video. All the DNA samples are public domain and were taken from OpenESNP. In the description of this video, you will also find links to purchase my trait predictor executable and reports.